the U.S. Hey. Sports Festival is about to start. It's true that joining a famous- Oh, was that Best Genist? Roaring Sports Festival. Are we gonna begin already? That would be amazing. This sports festival. <laughs> the entire country will be watching very closely. I love how he brings the same intensity to everything, no matter what. You must introduce yourself to the world and proudly say, I am here. Will you be crushed under the weight of the responsibility? Or will you rise to the challenge? What can I do? Crushed by the weight it is. <laughs> it's basically a big round robin tournament. Right. You had me you a tournament. Have of opportunities <laughs> to sell yourself. I guess. No. I'm sorry. Crushed honest, under the it's weight. It's kind of hard to get excited about this after everything that just happened at the USJ. Yeah, I agree. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> You're right, but that's enough. Is better at spouting word vomit than you, kid. That's a true quirk. Word vomit. Yeah, I think I said that last time. The sports focus seems a little bit low stakes compared to everything we've been through already. You know, with like students almost dying. It seems very much the career element of it, which is also very interesting to me, but it doesn't have the same gravity, which is why it's so funny to hear them talk about it this way. This sports festival. <laughs> Okay, let's do it then. Some heroes always aim for the top, while others happily settle. The difference between those two mindsets has a big impact on how far you go in the real world. Oof. I understand how you feel, and I may even be projecting a bit of myself onto you. Wow. However, I hope it was you amazing. You just said the that. Emotions you felt back at the beach during our training. Beach training. Let's go back to that. I'm a little bit biased because the beach training has been one of my favorite parts so far. I love the fact that All Might recognizes that he's projecting onto Deku. Deku represents his entire hopes for the future and everything he's ever cared about. So that's gonna leak out. There's no way it's not. At the same time, it's true what he says. What you aim for makes all the difference. I think one natural disadvantage we all kind of have is that we set our targets based on the things that we most see. But the levels of potential, a possibility, go so much farther than might appear from the level we usually see. You know, there's a lot of different ways things can go. There's a lot of different choices that people can make. There's a lot of things people can aspire to, even if they've never seen those things, you know? One experience I've had a lot that is both great and terrible is meeting someone that's just so far ahead of you in a certain way and you think like I didn't even know this was possible you know I didn't even know that was a thing to aim at and you have this feeling like I've been doing it wrong this whole time you know that level already exists in just about everything. It's just that we don't have the benefit of meeting people or seeing that level for everything. So I think knowing that and then being somewhat creative about envisioning the future goes a long way. Do you students have some sort of business with our class? Oh, they're here for Aizawa? Must be a legend now. They're scouting out the competition, idiots. Oh, right, right. So it's related. At least now you know what a future pro looks like. <laughs> now move it, extras. You can't walk around calling people extras. I mean, they sort of are, though. They're kind of NPCs, no? He's not wrong. You just sound like an ass. Oh? An NPC talks. How sad to come here and find a This guy really wants to be part of the show. <laughs> Muscling his way in. If any of us do well in the sports festival, the teachers can decide to transfer us to the hero course. And they'll have to transfer people out to make room. <laughs> Looking at you, Minuto. <laughs> Consider this a declaration of war. Where did this guy even come from? From the League of NPCs. <laughs> just a bunch of brats who think you're better than us. Crap, everyone, everyone hates our class now. Talk all They're just threatened. Want. It'll just be more embarrassing when you're They're just mad. jealous. Don't you ignore me! You made us everyone's enemies. Yeah, that's right! All of these dumb students will be gunning for us in the festival now! Yeah, let's just tone it down a notch. <laughs> it's not that big a deal. <laughs> God, Sean. Maybe I'm just an idiot. I'm gonna become a pro. How'd you get all the way there? I hope you haven't forgotten the emotions you felt. That was a great moment. Our training. I haven't forgotten. I'm still pumped. You gotta connect with it, Deku. This show is so good about like everyone raising each other up. Say what you will about Bakugo, you know. He's ill-tempered, sort of immature, hot-headed, has some strange priorities. The guy's dedicated. He's passionate. Every now and then you need a reminder. The tough thing is, it's it's hard to get motivated just because people tell you to. It's gotta be a personal thing. It's gotta arise organically. In fact, I feel like trying to spur that on just from a feeling like you should do it is sort of counterproductive because it then feels like work. It feels like a burden. It doesn't feel like something great you can do. The real thing, I think, is a vision. Like a vision that makes you feel good, you know, like I would feel great to be like that. And so people being examples of that works well because you can feel it immediately. And you're like, well, what would it take for me to do that? I think one shortcut though, one possible way through that, if there's no feelings, is just to start doing it anyway. Like just taking action and sometimes that's enough. Sometimes just the momentum will, will create the motivation, create the feeling. So Deku needs to do beach training is what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's taking my advice, hell yeah. Do it, Deku. The whole thing will be live on TV. 
going back to the source. We have to prepare for all possibilities. How do they make a sports game that's fair for all different quirks? Sort of weird. Good training right there. That's not even fair. Come on. <laughs> Such a weird, weird quirk. Interesting approach. <laughs> Damn, this music though. Thank you all. <laughs> He's practicing his award speech. Oh no, that's not. That won't go well. Watch him win. That'd be amazing. I'd actually be really happy if he won. <laughs> Before we knew it, it was the morning of the festival. It's Waste of no time. Be careful and don't get hurt. I won't. I'll record the whole festival in HD. Hope this this works out better than the Harry Potter tournament. How do we know there's no portal to the the villains in this? The security line is huge. What's the deal? A bunch of villains did, did you not? break in. Yeah. Of course the school's being strict. <laughs> Are you not a reporter? Some people Where were you? shouldn't be holding the festival considering what happened. It kind of is like Harry Potter, isn't it? Everybody will tune in to see Class 1A. AKA Gryffindor. <laughs> Class 1A. Hey, did you hear that Endeavor's son is one of the first year students? Can you imagine? Endeavor's no son. Way. Seriously? Which one is he? Is he orange haired boy? Bakugo's best friend? And help us solve, will you? Well, of course! That's gonna be ten bucks! <laughs> You're gonna charge a hero? Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Add social media influencer to the parallels with with heroes. Expecting everything for free. I wonder what they have in store for us in the first round. No matter what they've prepared, we must persevere. <laughs> I love him. Hey Todoroki, what's up? From an objective standpoint, I think it's fairly clear that I'm stronger than you. <laughs> Great way to start a conversation. But know that I will beat you. <sighs> Pretty good trash talking. We're not here to be each other's friends. Don't forget, this isn't a team effort. Don't be like that, Todoroki. Class 1A has got to beat the school. Of course you're better than me. In fact, you probably have way more potential than anyone in the hero course. Midoriya, maybe you're being a little hard on yourself and us. No. Let him have He's it right, out. It's guys. all right. Let him respond. We're all gonna have to fight to stand out. Yeah, that's a really good interpretation. Maybe Todoroki did him a and favor I'll there. Be aiming for the top two. There you go, give it back to him. I'm proud of you, Deku. <laughs> Raise each other up. Stakes were raised. Those cameras quit, media whores! <laughs> oh, I thought he said media whores, I was about to say. He was about to attack reporters, so, you know, if it's media hordes. <laughs> Horde. Come on, Izuku. It's a huge deal, it's on TV and everything. And they don't get paid for it, right? All the money goes towards building overly extravagant facilities like Universal Studios Japan. Are oh, they playing baseball? <laughs> yeah, no pressure. This is a big production, but why am I surprised? Why am I surprised that, that this is a very expensive event? Oh, it's not a baseball diamond, okay. No wonder people want to go to UA so badly. It's like, you just get everything. Instant celebrity. Kinda makes me nervous. How you feeling, man? I'm not worried. He likes attention. Attention Welcome made him who he is. What is that? And finally, the business classes on JNK. Oh my god, I love that they have business classes. That is so perfect. So self-aware. Amazing. This year's chief umpire for the first years is the R-rated hero, Midnight! The R-rated hero. Amazing. I like where this is going. <laughs> no, okay. uh, someone should talk to Miss Midnight about what she's wearing. She knows what she's wearing. Is that really appropriate apparel for a high school game? Are you not high school <laughs> boys? <laughs> like, what? what? Yeah! Menudo! Can't believe I'm on Menudo's side here. And for the student pledge, we have Kopsky Bakugo! Is he gonna sing? I really hope he sings. Please sing. Sing! <laughs> I just want to say... Aww. Well, he definitely got attention. Which is what he loves. The old Kachan would have laughed while saying that, making it a joke. Nice, no, fired up. No pun intended. So what exactly is this event? Time for us to get started! UA really doesn't believe in letting us catch a breath, huh? I appreciate that, though, because in most animes, this intro would be like eight episodes. <laughs> obstacle race. So it's gonna All right. Be an obstacle Fairly course. straightforward, oh, I think. Oh, <laughs> okay. All of them at once? All might. Seems dangerous. I'm still not able to control one for all yet. So I have to be careful when I use it. I got a question. Does that mean the plan is 
for Deku to become the All Might like hero, you know, the the one for all hero with his public identity. My impression was that All Might is well known as All Might, but maybe his background isn't public information. Like, wouldn't Deku's mom be in danger? Isn't that like a classic superhero thing? Going by the normal progression for heroes, wouldn't it make more sense for Deku to graduate and then... Well, I guess it's his appearance. People would put it together, right? That's different, I guess. I hope you're watching, All Might! Begin! A lot of people are watching. <laughs> I feel like he'd be great at it. He's gonna focus right into the skills. The doorway. Yeah, yeah, like I said, this is not the best idea logistically. I get it. They're testing us. Seeing how we Oh. This is the first obstacle. Freeze everyone. <laughs> Dead. He's doing the Zuko jets. Very creative. The whole thing, very creative. Mineto can use his sticky balls, no? There we go. Yeah, yeah. I'm rooting for Minuto in this tournament. I don't care. I'm guessing it involves sticky balls. May have bet too soon. So this is what the other students faced in their entrance exams. Oh yeah, he was a referral, right? Recommendation? They obviously went through a lot of trouble, but I wish they prepared something a little more difficult. <laughs> of course. There's a lot of them, Especially though. Especially since my dear old dad is watching. Oh, is he Endeavor's son? So he's under a lot of pressure, too, then. Maybe that's why he's focusing on Deku, because Deku is All Might's thing, prodigy, project. Maybe there's some rivalry there? I froze them while they were off their balance. On purpose. Kind of, kind of dirty, but all right. Someone's gonna die. Someone's. Uh, how do you not? How do you make it through this whole tournament and not die? He's one we should watch. <laughs> seems unfair. Thoughts? His attack was both offensive and defensive. Yeah. See, I knew he'd have good commentary. Why won't my feet move? Because no one's in danger. Come on. Think. What do I do? Which state is it gonna be? Oh no! Oh, it's do 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 do. <laughs> My new guilty pleasure. Do do do. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is starting out with all of them vying for the top, but I think that while looking for a victory, what they'll really find is each other. <laughs> I think they're gonna like have to work together for this. No, they all have specific skills that are not good for every situation. If they keep getting assaulted by armies of these robots, then they'll have to band up. It's time for the dumb preview! <laughs> what? I ended this episode way more excited for this tournament than I was at the beginning of it. The character interplay has the potential to be really interesting. And so does the fact that Todoroki seems to be the son of Endeavor. I am hoping to learn more about the, the pro league as it exists. We've seen little pieces of it, but don't really have a solid picture of it yet. But there's a lot of potential there as well. There's potential all around. And like I said last episode, I'm pretty sure that it's not just going to be the tournament. I think there's going to be like another thing intersecting. Something worldly or high stakes based. The only problem with this tournament arc is that I think it's a little bit too obvious who is gonna win. And that person is Minato. He has every advantage. <laughs> I can't keep a straight face. So I officially cast my bet. I bet on Minato and his sticky balls all the way to the championship. Another possibility is this could be something like Tekken where there's like the winner of the tournament, but then also the hero who, who didn't win officially. Is that the same thing for Harry Potter? Who wins the tournament in Harry Potter? I can't remember. Harry? Oh my god. Wasn't there some controversy about that though? Like he didn't actually win? I don't remember. Something like that could happen in this tournament. Deku could theoretically lose, but still in some way accomplish his and All Might's objective of entering the world stage and letting people know that he exists. But I can tell it's going to be a fun ride no matter what. So yeah, that's the end of season two, episode two. See you guys next time on Minuto's Road to Victory. <laughs>